Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and you're probably wondering why I'm outside in beautiful nature and that's because today I want to talk about the inner seasons of your cycle. Now I know you might be thinking, whoa, inner seasons? What? what does all of this mean and i get it i was once there too when you start to like track your cycle and you start to learn more about menstrual cycle awareness you'll start to kind of see how the phases of your cycle really correlate to the seasons of the year and i know i talk a lot about the seasons of the cycle in a very medical way so i talk about you know the menstrual phase and the mid follicular phase and all of that stuff but for some people and i know for me for a really long time that felt really like linear and not a really beautiful way of looking at my cycle. And so when I started to learn more about menstrual cycle awareness, I read this really amazing book called Wild Power by Alexandra Pope and Sonny Hugo Warlitzer. I know I talk about this book a lot, but they introduced me to the framework of the inner seasons and how you can use the seasons to kind of guide you in how you can relate better to your cycle. So the inner seasons is really just like a framework that you can use to play around with and how each season of the year, like winter, spring, summer, and autumn, translate really beautifully to the phases of the cycle. Using the seasons to explain the different phases of your cycle will not only help you relate better to your cycle, but it'll also help you explain how your menstrual cycle might impact how you feel to other people that don't have a cycle. It's so much easier to talk about the menstrual phase if you talk about it as if it's like the winter season. Winter is a time when things kind of stop. It can also be a time that makes you feel kind of sad and like it's not really fun, right? Like we all kind of want winter to get like done and over with. And for a lot of us with a menstrual cycle, when we have our periods, which is the menstrual phase, otherwise known as your inner winter, it feels very similar to that. I know for me in my menstrual phase, I kind of feel tired. I kind of just feel like I want to be at home all the time. And I also just want it to get over and done with, to be completely honest. And that's also how I feel about winter. So that's why working with the inner seasons can be such a beautiful way to discover different feelings and different ways to relate to your cycle. That's really all this is about. It's just about relating to your cycle in a new way. So with all of that being said, let's talk about the inner seasons of your cycle. So let's first talk about the most well-known phase of the cycle and that's the menstrual phase so that's when you have your period and this is also the winter phase of your cycle so this is when you are experiencing your inner winter and so if you think about winter like i was just talking about before you kind of think about it being a time when you rest and hibernate it's a very like slow moving time it's not you know there's not a lot of energy going around people are kind of just cozied up at home, in bed, or in front of their heater, kind of just waiting for winter to pass. And that's kind of how a lot of us experience our menstrual phase. Some of us might experience our menstrual phase in a different way, but I think it's really typical to feel like you just want to be at home when you have your period, you want to be in bed, you want to have your hot water bottle close, you just want to be warm, you want to hibernate a little bit, maybe disappear for a few days. That's totally what winter energy is all about, and that's totally what the menstrual phase is kind of like. The winter phase of your cycle, otherwise known as your menstrual phase, is a really, really great time for you to do just that. It's a great time to rest, it's a great time to nourish yourself it's a great time to just take it a little easier even 10 to 30 minutes a day of just like pure rest of just you cozying up somewhere and just taking a minute for yourself can make such a big difference in how you feel and so if you can bring this energy into your menstrual phase i think it'll be a lot easier for you to relate to how your menstrual phase makes you feel. And winter's not all bad, you know, there's some really beautiful parts of winter. Winter can be a really beautiful part of the year and it can be a really nice time to just like reflect, to have stillness. It can be a really nice time where you are at home and you are able to kind of cozy up and take some more self-care and rest time for yourself. And so if that can translate into your menstrual phase, wow everything will be so much better and i know for me if i rest and take take my time doing stuff in my menstrual phase the rest of my phases are so so much better i just feel like i've restored and like nourished myself and i've taken it easy and so when i feel a lot more energized in the other phases of my cycle i really like take advantage of that and that's kind of how i feel about the seasons too so let's move on to your inner spring so your inner spring is also known as your mid follicular phase or your pre-ovulatory phase those two 
phrases kind of mean the same thing. And this is when estrogen starts to rise. So in your menstrual phase or your inner winter, your hormones are basically flatlined, which is why you probably feel tired and a little bit run down. But in your spring phase, you feel really great. You feel really energized. And so if you look at spring as the season, how does it make you feel? Like you kind of start thinking about how everything starts to like reemerge. You know, you start to look at all like the flowers that are coming up. You start to see the trees fill out like their leaves. They start to grow. It's like this beautiful emergence of like energy and sunshine. And it's just a really, really amazing season because it means that winter is over with. And that's how you probably feel in your inner spring. I know for me, I feel like this renewed sense of energy. I feel really like refreshed. I feel like ready to go. It kind of feels like you're a, a, like a flower bud that's just getting ready to bloom, but you're not quite ready there. So your inner spring can also be a really vulnerable time. And so even though you might have this rising energy and you feel like ready to go, you might also feel a little bit tender. And that's totally okay. That's kind of how spring is, right? And so you might want to just take a little bit of time to kind of like step into this new energy and like not overdo it because it's really easy to overdo it after your menstrual phase. That's how I like to look at my inner spring. It's totally okay to take your time. And if you look around during springtime, flowers and leaves on trees, they don't just like pop out of nowhere. They take their time. And so your spring phase is a really great time to just like take things a little bit slower than maybe you would in your inner summer. Maybe not as slow as your menstrual phase or your inner winter, you're still a bit mindful of your energy. But then as you move closer to your inner summer, which is your ovulatory phase, you're going to be that little flower bud that starts to bloom. So let's talk about your inner summer. So what do you think about when you think about summer? Well, it's summer here and that's why I'm outside because it's so beautiful. We have like our garden growing, there's flowers, there's like just lush greenery everywhere. Like everything just looks so good. And that's kind of what summer is like to me. You know, there's sunshine. I'm wearing like a cute dress, like, it's so fun. That's probably how you feel in your ovulatory phase because when you move to your ovulatory phase, your estrogen is super, super high and that's usually why you feel so good. So you might feel really like sociable at this time. You probably feel like you wanna get a bunch of stuff done, which is how most of us probably feel in the summertime. You know, you wanna go to the beach and hang out. You wanna go and have drinks on the patio. You wanna do it all. You might also feel like you wanna be seen and heard and you might wanna like wear cute stuff. You're probably just just feeling yourself and that is what summer is like too right like it's just a really really great time to get outside do all the fun stuff go for a swim you just feel really good and so if you bring that energy into your ovulatory phase it kind of makes sense like ovulation is kind of like summer it's this amazing like pinnacle of the year now, of course, just because most people experience their inner summer or just summertime in general as just like amazing time of year that they love, not everyone feels that way. So your inner summer might be a time of maybe higher anxiety. Maybe you don't want to be seen. Maybe you don't want to like step into this new energy. Maybe it's just not, not right for you. And that's totally okay. All of our experiences are all unique and all so different. But I want you to just think about summertime when you move into your auditory phase. Like how does summer make you feel and how can you you bring that energy into your ovulatory phase so once you move from summer which is like when you're this beautiful radiant flower then you'll start to transition to your inner autumn phase which is also your premenstrual phase and so as a flower you'll probably just start to wilt a little bit things aren't as bright and beautiful autumn can be a really hard time of year for everyone you live through spring and summer and it's so beautiful and then autumn comes and it's a little bit chillier you start to see the leaves fall off the trees everything becomes a little bit more sparse like it can be kind of a drag and so some people find that the transition from their inner summer to their inner autumn can be really difficult because your hormones go from being really high especially estrogen to then dropping but then progesterone Progesterone takes over. So progesterone is really great because it's really calming, it's supposed to make you feel really good, but it can kind of make you feel a little bit like, I don't know, a little dazed or maybe melancholic, <laughs> if you will. And so that starts to take over and you might experience that a lot in your autumn phase. You might kind of just feel like, bleh. 
And that's totally okay, you know? It's totally okay to feel that way. It's a big transition to go from summer to autumn, and it's a big transition in the seasons as well. And so if you can bring that energy into your cycle, you can work with it. Your inner autumn is a really great time to like get stuff done because you know winter is coming. So you gotta get stuff done. You gotta organize things. You gotta do a little bit of a clean. <laughs> You just kind of got to like tie up any loose ends that you have because you know winter is on its way and that's when everything kind of shuts down if you will. Now you might feel that your patience and motivation is a little bit in the dumps when you are in your autumn phase or you might feel like this is a phase where you really shine. Everyone's different. One thing that might come up for you is not only premenstrual symptoms but your inner critic and I know for me in my inner autumn this is when my inner critic comes out to play. I don't really know why it wants to choose the inner autumn but sometimes it does and so be aware of that because that can easily kind of knock you off your stride. So if you track your cycle and you're prepared for your inner critic then then it can help make this phase just a little bit more easy to manage. And then of course, as you get deeper into your inner autumn, you'll start to feel these feelings like, oh, winter is coming, my inner winter is coming, which of course is menstruation. So you might have a few days where you're kind of feeling the feels, and then when your inner winter comes, the whole process starts all over, and you have just experienced the whole season change in one cycle. How amazing is that? Now I know some of you might be watching this and this might have really hit home for you. Some of you might be watching this and be like, this is not for me. And that's totally okay. This is just a different framework for you to work with when it comes to your cycle. This isn't how you have to look at your cycle at all, but I have found it to be incredibly helpful for me to like relate to my cycle and to also relate to the seasons of the year. Oftentimes I will talk about my inner winter or my inner spring and realize that some people might not know what I'm talking about. But now you know what I'm talking about. And if you feel called to use this framework and explore it more, please feel free. I highly, highly encourage you to track your cycle and use any cyclical framework that works for you. Maybe you feel more called to relate to another kind of framework during your cycle. There's so many different kinds of frameworks out there that you can use to just experience your cycle in a different way. And the inner seasons is just one of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm sure you can hear the birds chirping <laughs> and some stuff in the background but I just wanted to film this video outside because it felt very very appropriate to do so I'm trying to enjoy summer as much as I can I'm also in the summer phase of my cycle so it just felt right as always your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video